Hi everyone. Now, I'm not playing career mode today. Instead, I'll be giving a, I'll be I'll be giving this uh, River Euro twenty twenty four you know, game mode a try. You know, uh, this mode has been out for a couple of weeks now, or more than a few weeks maybe, you know, because of the of the you know the Euros tournament that is currently going on, and uh, of course the the real life Euros tournament is you know is almost over already. The, the semi-finals will be coming up in a few days, and then the final itself a few a few more days after that. But you know, since this mode is here and I have not tried this before, I thought to myself, okay, you know, why not give it a try and you know, see you know, see what it's like. You know, I've never played I've never played you know these most of these kinds of uh, you know, kickoff modes or, you know, or various other modes you know, outside of outside of current mode before. And these matches that I'm playing will be a linear difficulty. And you know, as the title says here, you're trying to win with the weakest team. And that's what that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so I looked through the you know the, the various teams on the on the list just now. Okay, so going going by the you know, these these stat numbers. Okay, I think one of the weakest team in, in the in the tournament here is Georgia, and you know, and we'll be giving you know we'll be giving this a try, and as as mentioned, you know the matches will be in legendary difficulty. Okay, and yeah, you know, just how will this pan out? I have no idea. Given you know, given the you know legendary difficulty, this could end up being I could end up getting trashed over and over again. I'm not sure. Yeah, this this might end up being very ugly. I don't know. But you know, just let's try something new, right? Just try something new sometimes. So with okay, so it's the it's the group stage. Kind of squad do I have? Okay. So it's a five three two formation. I think we can we can work with that. Yep. Okay. Actually, let's go. Now, do I want to do anything here? Oh man, our, our left back doesn't even have a face. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay, let's just start it and, and let's see what happens. Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Turkey, and they take on Georgia. Really bright looking attack. And teammates to play it to. Chalhanolu, wonderful chance, and a goal! Not bad for starters, they take an early lead. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. That was fast. I didn't even get to touch the ball. And one nil down already. And that's how that's how difficult the you know, legendary mode is. I I've heard people talk about uh, talk about it, saying uh, it's uh, just too difficult and, and stuff like that. But one nil then. 
Georgi Tsitaishvili. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Tsitaishvili. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. He has teammates around him. Incisive pass. Off the post and back in play. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, as the replay shows us, it's a decent first effort, but he's so quick to get onto the rebound. That's a good finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Uzchan. Moving into the advanced position. But really sticking to their task defensively. Chalanolu. That's a good looking pass. I thought for sure the defender would block that. Yeah. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Tsitaishvili. Opportunity here. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, trailing here, but a corner it is. And deciding to go short with this one. Makes his way in field. Marvellous anticipation. And back to Urjan Chakir. Abdul Kerim Bardakci. Chalanolu. Kerem Aktur Kolu. And a strong tackle. Chalanolu. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Yilmaz. Chalanolu. This is bad. Genuine chance. Well, it's oh. all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backhill, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is.
So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Uzcan. Nicely timed tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. This is looking threatening. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, you won't see too many better performances than this. He's been an absolute menace to these defenders today. And, of course, he's taken his goals really well. Let's see if I can change anything around. Change for formation. Let's give this a try. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Uh, he couldn't even make the call right. Call pass properly. Aktur Kolu. It seemed like a straightforward pass. It just Kadioglu. straight to swing to switch off for a moment, and board. now a throw in. Uh, that was bad. Georgi Chakvetadze. Uh, well read to put an end to that attack. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Chick Tosun! Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. <laughs> and played short. And the cross into the middle. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And strong play here, but just like that, possession changes hands. Can he put it away? A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. I needed that to go in for just just to get close, close the deficit. Still 3-1. Half an hour left. Now a short corner here, angles it back, still a chance, but fists it away by the goalkeeper. Aktur Kolu. Well, he keeps going. Kerem Aktur Kolu. Chalanolu. Textbook defending inside the box. Now can they counter clinically? Chakvetadze. Could be dangerous. And oh, it's in! 
We cannot declare this contest over. They Three, still believe. Well, just look at this. Still a chance. He keeps still his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net. That's a very good goal. And the ball is moving again. 3 2. Kerem Aktur Kolu. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Could be. And not cleared away properly. Oh, and he pops Ooh. away in the second chance. But the goalkeeper angry with himself here. Miley pulled it back. And well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper Still has to do a lot to better than this it or lose this. dangerous area. And suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. 15 minutes left for play. Özcan. Muldur. Zali Özcan with it. Bardacci. Well, it's just about a case of wall-to-wall -wall football live with us here on EA TV. And Stuart and I will be with you for this game coming up. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Teammates available. How can they nudge in front late on uh, here? Bad pass. Very bad. Kadioglu. Kerem Aktur Kolu. And Cenk Chosun has it. Ferdi Kadioglu. Well, good run this. Now, what can he do with it? Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. And playing it through. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Abdul Kerim Badakchi. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were treated to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. Well, I think when we analyse it all, Stuart, we saw flashes of what he's capable of. Okay, so a 3-3 draw to the start to start the, the group stage. And I think I think we yeah, are definitely I want to change the change the formation. Change to a false nine. This is alright. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Who's okay at defending? Probably I want him. Okay. I've got 
some kids here that will do. One thing for sure is that I have to find a way to make do with some of these players that I have. You know, that's that's ultimately the you know the name of the game, and that's fine. Okay, so back. No, that's fine. Okay. Okay, have that as a starting center pack. Who else do we have here? That's fine. Okay. So this second group stage match is against Chechia or Czech Republic. Okay. Yep, legendary difficulty. Let's go. The five three two formation that the start of the previous match that was eager anticipation prior I don't really to this gargantuan clash, but now we need to talk about it no more and three instead back, focus three, on three. the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Two high level sides ready to go at it. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football, I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And ready for what should be a pulsating game, the second match for both sides here at the Euros. It's Georgia, and they take on Czechia. Well, Derek, after their draw on the opening day, it's vital they get... Oh, big opportunity! And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. That was terrible. Got the ball in the, defend, in the defense area there, then lost it like that. Very dumb. Very dumb indeed. So underway again here, one nil the score. Lasha Dvali. Georgi Kocharashvili. Now can they make something happen? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And threading it through. Well now in a dangerous position. Opportunity still there. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. George Mikautadze struggling to keep the ball. Yeah. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. Lukas Provod. A oh, tremendous vision. Sheik, it's there for him. 
It could be up for grabs. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Lasha Dvali. That's a good-looking pass. Oh, that is a superb save. Oh, that was close. Adam Hlozek. And unable to keep the ball. Why didn't he take the ball? Come on. Options in the centre. And deflected beyond the byline. So a corner here. And played short. Vladimir Tsofal. And intercepts again. Diwali. Georgi Kocharashvili. It should be! No shortage of excitement. Yeah. Level again. One no more. wonder they're excited. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Holesh. Tomasz Holesh. Lukas Provod. Barak has it. Well, it's one pass after another. And Patrick Schick now. Can they nudge in front? And not cleared away properly. And problem solved for now. Georgi Kocharashvili. He continues his run. And pull back. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Oof. The, the CPU players are really very aggressive with the way they mark and press and tackle elects to go short <laughs> and they sometimes they feel firing it towards goal oddly strong he can't hold like, on to it it's like you can't get the ball of them and they can't quite take advantage in the difficult. end now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game we certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Looking for that final part. Well, oh. the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, that was a bit unlucky because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances.
Now look at this, they might be able to cash in here. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, that was terrible. Breaking at pace. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. I like the look of that game. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Into the advanced position. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Oh, damn, and terrible. not an effort that will live terrible. long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Thirty minutes left for play. Schick. Must take the lead here. Oh, that goes down as a wonderful save. And a substitution in the offing. Let's see if there's any subs I can make. Okay, sure, let's go with that. Okay, yes, yeah, some fresh picks in midfield. Hmm. Yep, yeah, okay, do that. This is very rare indeed. Three substitutes coming on at the same time. Zuriko Davitashvili. And a throw in forthcoming. Otar Kiteishvili. And those are the try. Now here's a match coming up on EA TV that I think you're going to want to join us for. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Oh, the threat is there. Crossing opportunity. Stopped a certain goal. Chak Vetadze. Good through ball. Will he find the net? Oh, he oh. saved it well. Chick, Vladimir Tsofal, Barak has it, will he play it in? Marvellous anticipation! Well, they couldn't keep it. Oh. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. It's a perfect challenge. Rob Janidze. Otar Kiteishvili. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Oh, man. I just can't get these through balls. Andrzej Linger. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Might be able to set up the chance. Oh. 
Davitashvili. Gives it a go. Oh, a goal! Woo! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. That was nice. And hopefully this should be the win. And there goes the final whistle. Georgia triumphant here. They get the victory. And I wonder, Stuart, how you would sum up the performance. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Okay, so here's how it is after two matches. You know, I'm beating the table all points. And I'm playing against Portugal in the in the final group stage match. So my position in my So I'm not necessarily qualified for the next round yet, I don't think. All the other groups. Okay. So Germany and Switzerland are in, Hungary at three points. Italy and Croatia in, Albania have three points. England and Serbia in, Slovenia have four points. Netherlands and France are in, Poland have four points. Okay, Belgium and Ukraine are in. Because they both have six points, Romania and Slovakia, they neither one will be catching up to the top two. So with four points, I think probably minimally it'll be a place as one of the best, one of the best third place teams. I think even if I even if I lose the final match against Portugal, I'm not too sure. But if I get even at least a draw, that means I'll qualify. Right. Portugal are supposed to be one of the one of the strongest teams in the tournament. And so it is a surprise that they are you know, that they are last in the table in, in the group currently. But but regardless. Regardless, I have to find a way to secure a result, even against one of the best teams. The group stages are winding down, but knockout football is still on offer. It's all to play for. Let's see how this one unfolds. This will be tough. This will be tough. Don't miss a single second of the action. It's all live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And an important date for them today because progression to the round of 16 here at the Euros is on offer. It's Georgia up against Portugal. Well, a point should see them through, but I think they have to play then. Oh, incredible save and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Yeah. 
And taken short. Liao. Could be. And a goal oh. it is. How significant could that prove to be? Well, I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. Yeah, the play was left with the free run there. There was a the gap opened up. A very big gap opened up in the middle. Play had a free run and just a free shot against the goalkeeper. And 1 0 again. Uh, what to do? What to do? So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Well, back when the draw was made, no one really expected the home side to be quite as competitive. They looked as though they would struggle in this group, Stuart. Well, they've been excellent so far. They've worked hard, they've been organised and they've played some great football. But they just have to keep it going now. Real chance! Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And back to Costa. Ruben Neves. Well, the supporters think it's on. Very oh, alert defending to cut off the close. supply. Jota. Lasha Dvali. Oh, he's given us away. Ruben Neves. A fine use of the ball. It might be. And it goes. Oh. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and what an emphatic strike it is from Bernardo Silva. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. <laughs> and the defender just turned away from Bernardo Silva instead of, instead of trying to tackle him or close the ball or something. I don't know why. <sighs> so the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Kocharashvili. Bad challenge, and that's, that's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Excellent defending. Joao Cancelo. Brilliant pass. Jota. It's there for him. Well, what a stop that was. Georgi Kocharashvili. Mikael Tadze. And Portugal have it back now. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but really sticking to their task defensively. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Bruno Fernandes. And keeping it out.
short corner favoured. Neves. Leal. And a goal here. Oh, come on. There it is. They've done it. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. It looks like he went through the player into the corner. The players are there, no one missed it. Hey. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Joao Cancelo. And this is Diogo Jota now. Cancelo. Now with Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Davi Tashvili. Leal. Good looking move. Is it going to be? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, I must say, Bruno Fernandes having a great game out there. He's been quite the handful for those defenders. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. Oh, no doubt, I don't think I'm turning this around. This one is going to be very difficult. Hey. Anything I can change? Maybe later. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Very quick thinking there. Minch. Jota. Now with Neves, chance here, and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And the short option preferred. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Diwali. Really? <laughs> That's not a foul. Uh. And easily intercepted. And he's passing the wrong player now. Leal. Opportunity here. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. 
A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. He read the situation defensively and did his job. So, a half an hour remaining. Bruno Fernandes has it. Can they convert? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. And Portugal regaining possession. Rafael Leao. Nuno Menge. Jota. Getting in there to intercept. Leal. And here's Neves. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Twenty minutes remaining. Tsitaishvili. Well, not long to go. They're still trailing, and their hopes of moving on look rather bleak. Well, it doesn't look good, does it? They've found this group really tough at times, and today's been no different. As it stands, they won't be going through to the knockout stages. Will it be? Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Oh, well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Bernardo Silva. Leal, just the challenge that was required. Bruno Fernandes couldn't hang on to it. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Jota. Oh, that's fine defensive play. Mikael Tadze just couldn't get it through. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Oh, in with a chance. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. It is one goal. 
I scored one. Yeah. And there it is, the final whistle. Three more points dropped. And that, unfortunately, Stuart, will seal their fate. Well, it's no surprise, really. They've struggled to have an impact on this group, and today was no different. They just weren't good enough. Okay, so I did qualify for the round of 16. One of one of the I think the top four best third place. So I'm up against Italy in the next round. And after what just happened, I am not confident of this. So we have one of 16 against Italy. Even Poland, Switzerland beat Croatia. Germany beat Serbia. And the other teams still yet to play. Okay then. Let's see what I can sort of change around a bit. What's this? Okay. Better in every way. We all have that. Case eight and two, but how is this other stats compare? E no. Okay, so round of sixteen against Italy. Let's go. That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air. And the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high. And every expectation that this game will live up to its considerable billing. This meeting live next on EA TV. Welcome to this first knockout round game here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. My name is Derek Ray and sharing microphone duty with me as ever is Stuart Robson. And I'll tell you what, this promises to be a terrific game to commentate on. It's Italy and they take on Georgia. Yeah, we're now at the business end of the tournament, Derek, and both these teams deserve to be here. But which will have that extra bit of quality? It should be a terrific game. Having to shoot, and the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, a short corner here. Cuts it back. What an important piece of defending. Pressing high up has its advantages. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass.
Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and a win. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Corner kick forthcoming. And the short option preferred. Zuriko Davitashvili. That is how to keep it out of the net. Shaping to shoot. Clear deflection and a corner now. Please, I haven't conceded a goal yet. That's a miracle in itself. Short corner favoured. And he favours the inside route. He got a good palm on it. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Skamaka. Cambiasso. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it fizzled out. Jorginho. Gianluca Scamacca. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Barella. On to Jorginho. Shot attempted. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Elects to go short. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Barella. And teammates to play it to. He's protecting it well. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Guram Kashia. And the ruling is offside here. They yeah, are very aggressive with the way they with the way they press and pressure. Very aggressive, very physical. Lots of kicking. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Not relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. And just like that, they don't have the oh, ball anymore. On. George Mikautadze. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Barella. Decent position. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Barella. Firing it towards goal. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow. But now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him. And he's absolutely right to do so.
And there's the delivery. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've Come got on. to say the good value. It should be half time league. already. Come on. Stoppage time one minute. And this went on until four minutes. Come on, how can that be? Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. The first half here comes to an end. There were some good situations in the first half, but just couldn't get goal of that. And then, the, and then the goal that they scored, come on, 45 plus 4. One minute stoppage time and it went on till the fifth. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Good vision. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. It is to be a throw-in. He could pick out a teammate. Interception to snuff out the danger. Gatti. Davide Fratesi, Matteo Retegi, Raul Bellanova. Must be! And a goal! Oh. They've added to the lead, much needed security! And the players are just standing around watching it happen. Ah. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Otar Kiteishvili. And in the perfect position to read it. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And into the last 30 minutes now. Andrea Cambiasso had a chance to whip it in here. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Substitution time it is here. Corner kick played in. Could still be dangerous. No defensive resilience there. Georgi Kocharashvili. Really getting stuck in. <laughs> and that's not a fault. Come on. Well, he's certainly not alone. Firing it in. Oh, did so well to deny him. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. It's a short one. Barella. Terrific piece of anticipation. Must be. Oh yes, 
A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Kakabadze. Gianluca Scamacca. Oh, great attacking play. It is now with Jorginho. Nicely blocked. Read it well. Zuriko Davitashvili. They just cannot seem to keep possession today. Oh, he could give it away. Ten minutes to go then. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Maybe they pass the ball is just terrible. All the wrong directions. And the pass, a good one. Players. Oh. Gianluca Scamacca. The high press was on, and that's ball. a fantastic tackle. They never stumble on it, but they just... Oh, might be. And they just get the ball back so easily. Much height on that one. I tackle the ball off them, they just stand there and immediately tackle the ball back off me. What can I do? So two minutes of stoppage time here. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Pellegrini and there it is the final whistle Italy the Azzurri will be moving on here at the Euros well what a good attacking display that was the passing movement and creativity were of the highest quality they'll certainly be confident going into the next round and in the final analysis a really positive performance from this man Stuart well I have to say that was impressive not just his goals but his all-round play he was excellent That's a loss, and okay, let's see end tournaments of what happens next. Oh. Hmm? So it just makes you replay the, the match against Italy, but, uh, well, 
the loss is the loss, and well, that is that. So, well, anyway, so having lost in the round of 16, you know, yeah, it, it's very difficult playing legendary difficulty. And, uh, so it's a fairly short stream again. Uh, thank you for joining me and see you again on the next stream